Good afternoon, traders. Welcome to the London webinar. I tell everybody to join the, the, we have an access of about 500 people and we will increase that. So join the link live and then you will have access to the live trading session and the live uh, weekly outlook. I'll probably post this till my Wednesday. No, no need to waste time. Why they can't join live? They can join live, right? So let's go. Probably by Tuesday or Wednesday. I have no idea. Join live. I'll post it probably later, much later, not now, by Monday. I want everybody to join live. Make some time to join it live. Don't wait on YouTube, right? We have only 50 people in the room. Well, the 50 people who deserve to be here are the 50 people who will get the webinar, right? Let's go, let's start. So as usual, I would start every week with my account. I promise you guys that. But every week we will be starting with the account. It's a live account, you will have an access to see it. I will update you what I'm doing, what I'm not doing, winning, losing, not making money, making money so that the trolls could have their days. When I don't make, when I make, they will disappear. <laughs> Basically, this is it, right? So let me, let me, since it's not going to be on YouTube until Monday or Tuesday, let me just tell the YouTube people who normally come, please use the link to join. We were really happy to have you here, but use the link to join. Why? Because when you use the link, you get to ask questions and then I get to answer your questions as well. I don't see a reason why you just cannot take the link and register and come here, right? But this is, that's a pretty straightforward, easy thing. Second, the, a lot of people have been asking me about the course and when it's coming on. So I'll take a couple of minutes to talk about the course, just a few minutes if you allow me. First, we are having a, a live training session coming up. I don't like to say course. It's a live training session where we train traders to trade, right? I'm not selling course because we don't have courses. We don't have like basic course, advanced course. We don't have all those crazy stuff, right? We don't have it. You join our group and you learn to trade. We train you to trade until you become successful. You will have lifetime access, but that is complimentary. That's one. And second thing, it's, it's subjected to the fact that you will be a trader because we are already filtering the group from people who in my group are not trading. For some reason, I don't know why they're in the group, but they're not trading. They, they can't prove that they're trading, which means they're either buying the course just to get access to the group so they can take what we do and sell it outside for whatever reason. It's not gonna work. There's a lot of scammers out there. You need to be careful of them. So here are two ways you can deal with the scammers out there. One, ask them to provide an account for you, a live, 500k account or more, or even if they have a 100k account, it's okay. But it should be a live account. If they show you a $1,000 account, you decide if you want to join that person. You decide how much he's a professional trader. It's up to you, you're the trader. You're watching this video today, you will get to decide. Is he really a professional trader if he's showing you a $1,000 account? I don't think so. I really don't think somebody who is, who's, you know, trading a $1,000 account really can say he's a professional trader. Secondly, you will get to decide whether his method is working because every single week I'm showing you this account, which means I'm raising the bar for everybody out there. I'm trying to say to you that if there's somebody selling you something out there, first thing you can do is ask them, hey, can you show me that account? Because if they can, then there's something they're hiding from you. A lot of people have been asking me to show accounts. I've been showing my accounts all the time. I showed you the $200,000 I doubled. I showed you the ones I was trading before. I'm showing this one. I can keep showing you all these accounts if I want, but they're not my accounts. So this person is giving me permission to show it every week. I cannot ask all my investors to do that. Many of them have stopped investing with me in the first place if I start doing that. Right? But you can see how I trade and you can see the sum of money I trade and you can know what I do. So people who will say, well, this guy is just another guy selling courses. Sorry, not true, not the way. That's not what I do, I don't sell courses. You have to be a professional trader to join me. You have to decide to want to be a professional trader to join me in our course. You have to have at least one year experience. How many people out there selling courses do you tell you you have to have a year experience before you go join them? None, zero. They love if you have no experience because then it's easy for them to sell you bullshit. If you have zero experience, they can sell you any crazy stuff because you don't know what you're getting. And the stuff they're selling to you is actually free out there. You can get it for free. You can learn it much better than they're telling you. 
And the second thing, if they're a professional trader and they really want to train you to become a professional, they have to have some proof of it. Then a, a sizable account will be a proof of it. So you, whoever is watching this video, not only the people who are here, but whoever will be watching this video, and I want you to spread the video when I put it out there, those are the people who will make the decisions. At least we can educate people out there. Next time, please use the link to join me. Everybody, please use the link to join me. There is a reason we put that link out there. We are sharing the link everywhere and we're asking people to use the link. I don't know why they don't want to use the link. Well, we're going to get them to use the link next week. I guess we're going to have 300 people in here next week. Because there is about 200 people on YouTube who don't want to use the link. They will come in eventually. So you can see, where were we last week? Last week, we were somewhere, I think, at 54 with 37 drawdown. You can look, you can check here, actually. You don't have to guess. You can come here and see where we were last week. Last week, we were here. Right? I think that's it, 20, 21st. That was the 21st. Yes, this is where we were. And this is where we are. So we were at 538. We were at 586. I think it's 587 actually. Right? So you can see. Is the system I'm using working? Right? Is this actually working? Is this helping you to, to become a successful trader? And can you do that? That's the whole point. That's, that's all you need to know, right? Look at the accountancy. And you're seeing it every week. You watch me trade it live for a whole week. We can probably repeat that process if you guys want. We can probably repeat it once more so that you guys can see how it's done, how I trade again. One second. My son is really acting up today. He really wants me to go out with him. Why a relatively small portion on silver, please? Do I have a relatively small portion in silver? I don't, I don't think so. I have 50,000 lots in silver still active. I'm pretty sure about that. If you look at the account, there's 50,000. Well, not lots, but these are how they count up, 50,000. This is a very big, big amount. This amount is calculated that if it goes to zero, I wouldn't be worried about it. Right? One second, guys. Give me one second. Let me just talk to my son. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, sorry about that one. Very sorry about that. My son is a little sick, so he's acting up a little lately, so I had to just go get him. Uh, so let's go. Let's see. Oh, but it sounds a whole number problem. Yeah, well, he, he has his own he has his own wave wave analysis going in when he's up and down in his moods. You have to just control that, right? So let's go. Okay, yes. So coming back to what I was telling you guys, this is how you will you will this is how we can all help to filter the scammers out there. Because there is a lot of them on the internet. Right? And this is how you will differentiate the good ones from the bad ones. Somebody's doing good and then somebody's doing bad. In one month, this, this account is in two months, I think. It is 7,000 that is in two months. Because it started somewhere around the 15th of November, but I didn't trade it immediately. And then for two or three weeks, I wasn't trading in the new year. I guess you know that. I wasn't in, well, one week before the year end, you can't trade. There's nothing to trade. And one week after the year, there's nothing to trade. So an average of two months, it is 7,000. Yes. You, 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 you still think paying me 2,005 is a lot? for a lifetime access to, to, to trade with me? Think again. <laughs> this is not, I'm showing you 0 0.2 pips I made, right? Let's go. Anyway, that is just to make sure that the, the trolls who are out there are gonna be the naysayers, they should learn that how to differentiate me from the rest of the traders that are out there, right? There are people selling all kinds of stuff out there. I know about it, we are all, we are all aware of it. It's not like nobody knows that here there's scammers out there or all of that. I've been talking about that since, since, since ever. I was thrown out on trading view for that purpose. Speaking about scammers on the net, right? So you can choose, you have a choice. You can choose if you want to join us or not. That's up to you. If you do want to join us, stick around to the end. I'll talk a little more about the webinar. So let's go. I wanted to talk about it, about the course coming up, the trading session we're going to have, but let's leave it to the end. Let's go do what you're here for. Dollar index. Dollar index, it's, it made a correction, it's going back up. On the bigger time frame, remember we told you we're still in the correction. As long as it's keep doing this, you're still in a correction. And this correction is a bigger one. So that doesn't mean that this up move will continue to go as well, right? You have to trade this in short terms, right? If you understand, if you really understand what wave analysis is about, 
And I think I've tried to, to explain this a lot of times, but people still get confused. Like if I tell you, if I make a forecast, let's say we have something like this and we start to do this and I make a forecast, you know what? We're looking for an up move. Back. On the break of this, we're expecting this thing to go up. And it does something like that and then it does that. And then you hear, then you hear all the people who have very limited knowledge or no knowledge of wave analysis jump on and say, hey, the analysis is wrong. He said it's going to go up. Look, it's going down. It's not wrong. It's understanding how waves work. You have to look at all different time frames. You have to understand how it is. This is a corrective structure that could do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, and go on for three years. I think I showed all of you that. When we say we are expecting this to go up, we are making an assumption that this pattern is completed by itself. Now, that doesn't mean that it's completed. That means if you get a buy set up at this point, you take it. It comes to this level, you start managing your trade to get out here if it's going to make a deeper correction. That doesn't mean you cannot book this profit, sell it from there, buy it back anywhere here to go back up. You will keep repeating that process, day in, day out. Every time that you get this set up, every time that you see there's a change in structure, and there will be change in structure. That is why I do a daily webinar in my, in my group, so that we can update the charge daily and see what is today's move, what is what we can expect tomorrow. What, that's what we do every single day. And you get access to that every single day. Right? That is how it should be. You get access to that every single day. Right? So once you see that, once, once you get access to, to the, how the, the, the trades, the, the patterns are developing, then you can make a decision. Then you can make a decision as to whether it's going to go up totally now or it's this up move is just part of a bigger correction. So it's not as easy as it is as, 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 as I put it out to you because if you know it, I always say, if you know this stuff, it's easy. If you don't know it, it's very, very complicated. And traders tend to get all over the place with zero knowledge, they jump all over the place. Like, hey, what is he saying is gonna go up, but it's not. Well, it eventually does go up because once the correction is finished, it will go up, it always does. If you understand that, it doesn't mean that this one will go up or this one will go up or this one will go up. It just means that at some point, that correction is gonna be over and go up. How complicated the correction get? Very, very, very complicated. And that's why we teach you for a very long time to understand that structure. So, Euro. What did we get? We got the sell. And when this started to go up, you can get a buy from here. Is this going to go down? I guarantee you it's going to go down. It's almost guaranteed to go down because what you're looking at is a more complex corrective structure. And that means at some point, this thing will still go down. It doesn't matter how complicated it gets. If you remember, this started to happen. We told you that one is going to go down. It made a bigger, complicated structure. When this started to go up, everybody freaked out, and then it dropped. People are still freaking out here. If you're freaking out, it means you just have no idea how structure behaves. That's all. That's all it means. You have no idea. We took that sell and made money. And now we are buying and selling again and keep, keep making money. You just have to understand what the little structures are doing. So what we're waiting for here now, you're in the middle of nowhere. At the point of which you're in the middle of the bigger correction, you're in the middle of the smaller correction, and you have incomplete patterns. That means it can still go both ways. But you don't have a buy or a sell set up for any way, which means you don't have a trade in it. That's it. Full stop. You don't have a trade there. If you wait for the proper trade set up and you take your time and you wait for it and you get the trade set up, then you make money. So right now there is nothing and probably this week we might get it. Maybe tomorrow we get a good trade set up. By the end of tomorrow, maybe by Tuesday we get a good But as it stands right now, we don't have a trade set up. You could get a buy or a sell set up and both of them will be well within the structures we're looking at. Right? It will be part of the structure we're looking at. On the pump, we're looking for a buy set up. We were looking for a sell set up down on the pump here. And on the daily, remember I told you there was a very, very high probability this thing is going to go down. Well, it still will go down. So why are we looking for a buy now? Well, because they've consolidated and that means they're going to make one more impulse. And after that one impulse, we're still looking for the downside. So the downside is not being negated as yet. There's many, many things that has to happen before you can say the downside is no longer valid. The downside is not being negated as yet. 
It's just the upside that is going to continue to go until it starts to fall. You can see that in the euro when they were making this expanding plan, when they were making this expanding plan. If you had followed me in the euro, I would guarantee you that on that day of the webinar, I will tell you, wait for a correction here and then you're going to take that trade. I can guarantee if you go back and look at that webinar, that was the forecast I was making. Wait for a correction here and then sell it. What did they do? They make a new high. Did that change the biggest structure? No, it didn't. You still get that wave down. So your sell comes in here. That's the, that's the complicated part of wave analysis, understanding how this structure could get. If you know that and you wait for that setup, you did not get the buy. You did not get the sell. But I'm not interested in the buy, I'm interested in sell. So when it makes a new high, I'm still looking for that sell. And that means I will get the sell. Right? I, I don't care about that buy because as it stands right now, that's not a structure I want to buy into. Everybody who bought at the top there lost money. Literally. Because they, wouldn't, they might not have enough time to get the hell out of that structure. So it's the same thing in the pong. Am I interested in this buy to the upside, this short-term buy? If I see a good risk to reward trade, somebody just mentioned that. If I see a good risk to reward trade and I see a trade that is going to give me good money in it, then yes, maybe I'll take it. But most likely, no. I'm still looking for the sell. Can this structure change for, into a sell setup? Of course. I don't want to go into that detail because that would just complicate your life. But if it goes like this and it stops and starts to fall, I will be looking for a sell setup. Now, I'm pretty sure 90% of you looking at that, if you're not my trader, you're looking at that and say, why the hell would he do that? Or how do you know it's going to do something? How would you know when you're going to sell it? Those are all very valid questions. And that, those are the questions you get answered when we train you to trade. That's where we train you. That's where we show you what pattern we're looking at, how that pattern should develop, what is the pattern uh, thing, what will be your sell setup or your buy setup. So... That's it. It's not, it's not as simple as if I said, when I come in here once a week and I said, okay, guys, if it breaks out of here and makes a flag, you buy. Of course, if it does that, there's a buy setup. But is that buy setup very valid? How far will it? Can that buy setup change during the week? Can it just make one more impulse, break this up and fall? Of course, all of that is possible. That will be part of a bigger expanding. So at the top here, I still think we're looking for a sell setup. Short term, maybe a buy setup, but we're still looking for a sell setup. That will be the long term trade. Aussie, same here. Short term, you may get a buy. Long term, they're going to make a sell. But short term, the, the trade you'll be looking for is a buy setup. You don't have any setup right now. You don't have anything. We'll probably allow it to go a little lower and then come and break out of this structure and then we'll get a buy setup. For the sell setup, if, if that is going to happen, it will take you about a day or two before you get anything. But I don't see any structure for sell. Setup. New Zealand, pretty much the same thing. They're coming down. New Zealand might give a sell structure. I wouldn't be surprised if New Zealand, you notice I'm in the Aussie New Zealand buy. And it's very, I just took it so it's going very slow, but I still think it's going to go up. So you can see New Zealand coming down more than Aussie is coming down. If they're going to go up, Aussie will probably go up faster than the New Zealand. That's the assumption if that Aussie New Zealand is going to continue to go up. We will come to it and we will look at it at the end, right? So this is more of a sell setup. Can this become, make one more impulse to the upside? I think they can. But based on the structure we're looking at, I most likely think they're gonna break through, right? And that means you can look for sell setups on this. Yen, perfect buy setup, right? I think you can see it. So you can continue to look for buy setup. Remember when Yen was falling, I was telling you this has to go back up. I really don't know how else I can make this simpler to you guys, right? There's only one way to understand this thing fully. That is to learn it. And there's only one person you should be learning it from. I don't think I have to say it, right? I don't have to say it more. There, there is no one who understands it better. Watch for this correction and then go up. If you get that, what if they drop? Well, let them come here, make another flag, you sell, and then you wait for the buy again, right? Swiss. Pretty much the same thing. We made the top. Remember, we said this is likely going to go up. Wait for a flag. They drop. You're making a correction. I still think they will go up. We are just making a bigger correction, right? They're probably going to drop here, and then you're going to go up. It's just making a bigger correction for upside. 
So if you got that trade and you got out for break even or you got a small part of it, look for this trade and then look for the buy setup. Because they do make these patterns. And those patterns don't surprise us. It's not like we saw that, as, oh, what the hell is it doing? We're like, okay, we understand what they're doing. Get out of the trade, look for the next trade. Right? Cat, perfect sell, right? I think all of you know we were looking for a sell when this was going up. You're looking for a sell, you're looking for a sell. Can we look for buys now? Well, not as yet. I still, I think this structure now is going to go up more. All right, we have broken out, we broke out of the pattern very clearly and there are other reasons why I think it's going to go up. So rarely we might see the break and we test of the low. There's a rare chance for that. It's less now, unless we're gonna be making some kind of an ending diagonal that is possible. Only then we'll probably see that structure, right? And that is possible. But right now, I'll probably be looking to see whether they'll reverse from this area. Not necessarily from the line, but anywhere from this area, if they're going to start to reverse, which means you want a sharp impulse, you want to pull back, and then you're going to, I'm in the cat sell, if you notice. I sold the cat also. It's not, it's not any, just a couple pips because it, it was going good and then it turned, and that means I'll get out for break even, right? If this doesn't go well, I'll get out of it for break even. Right? So let it go. It goes a little more, pull back, we'll look for buy setups. If they consolidate here like they did in here, like they did in here and they did in here, if this turns out to be just a consolidation, we'll look for more sales. This consolidation will be very small if it is. If it's a consolidation, it'll be very small and then it's going to drop. But most likely, you're going to start to see it go up. Right. Silver. Silver likely going down as a consolidation to go back up. Remember when we were saying you only need to, I was saying, I think I've been saying this for a long time. If you, if you, if you follow me at any time, anywhere from here, you should be buying silver. Remember that? Buy, 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 just keep buying, never sell silver, buy it. And then I remember this one started to come down and there were a few trolls who jumped in and said, hey, he was buying silver, look, it's falling. We were doing this live, right? Remember we were buying the silver live in here? I'm still in that same trade. <laughs> So where is the guy who was making noise when this was going on? Oh my God, what is happening to his account? Look, it's going down. You want to see what's happening with my account? Let me show you again so you can see. I'm talking to that specific person who was saying, look how it's here. It's 30,000 up in silver. Show me your account and show me how much you're, you're in the sell in silver. Right? Let him show me how much he's in the sell in silver. Since he is selling it and I'm buying it. You know why he was panicking when that dropped? Because he has no idea how to trade. He has no idea how structure behaves. Why did I have the confidence to keep the trade? Well, because I know how structure behaves. I have the knowledge of how structure behaves. And that is why I had the confidence to keep the trade. No, it's not about getting angry with trolls. It's about make sure that other people who want to learn this seriously, learn it, understands that it works. Because they would read that comment. If you were a new trader and you come and you see somebody said, hey, you were saying buy, but look at drop. And you look at the chart and you saw it drop. You were like, oh my God, yes, this guy is right. Look, it's dropping and that guy is saying buy. You might not come back to a second webinar to look at it. So I'm making sure that the ones who are watching this go back and check it. So that they will, they will not come and write crazy stuff all over. They will not fool other people, right? They will learn to trade. If you are serious and you want to learn to trade, you will learn to trade eventually. Right? So watch it. That is why I'm showing you the confidence I have in the trades. You saw it live and you can see it again. We're still looking for buys. I'm, I'm still in the trade. I saw this coming down. We saw this coming down and I'm still in the trade. Right? So this is still going to go up. This is more of a correction to the downside. If there is going to be a structural change for downside, we'll see. It. I'll get out of that for positive. Maybe I'll even sell it. But right now we don't have any sell setup. Right now, we are only heading for the upside. So look for buy setups. If you're not in the trade yet, you lost a lot of money. Literally, you could have made a lot of money, put it that way. So if you're not in, good luck trying to sell it. Wait for buy setups. And if you're like my traders who bought it and kept it, you did well. You made 9%. Great, see? A lot of my traders made a lot of money in silver. I can tell you that. I made a lot of money in silver. Gold? We're also going up, wait for buy setups. But remember, gold has a slightly different structure. I don't know if, I, if I, that would come to you guys, but there might be a short-term spike, very sharp down and then up. So be careful. Make sure the setup you get works very well, sorry. 
excuse me, make sure the setup you get actually works very well, right? Make sure it's a good setup. Sorry, not work. Make sure it's a good setup so that you can get it. Make, it, make sure there's a good breakout, there's a good consolidation, and then you take the trade. Because this one could give you a sharp spike down and down. Euro Oz, we're looking for buy setups. I still think it's a buy setup, but no, now it's more of a buy setup. Right? You're getting more consolidation here. So the problem, the longer they consolidate here, the better the buy setup is. All right, so you can look for a buy setup there. You're in New Zealand, it's already coming up. We wanted to break this low. There was a chance that they might drop a little lower, but I don't think they'll do that anymore because we're looking for the upside. I was looking for the upside from here last week. That didn't happen. We might get it from here. If this doesn't happen, we're going to get it from a lower point, but we will get that one move up. It is going to happen because that's how structure behave. Why it's going to happen, not my problem but it's going to happen. They will retest this top before they go. Now, can, this, can they go lower before they come back? Can they just go like this, right? Drop here, go like that, drop there, go like that, and then do this move to the downside? They can. So if you see a setup here for a sell and they start to drop, there is not one on the chart right now. But if that happens, we will sell it. The question is that might happen by Thursday or Wednesday, and I will not be here to, to show you the change in that structure. If you're in my group, you will see the change in the structure. But as it stands right now, you, I can't show you that Thursday, unless I'm there Thursday with you. But we can, is that possible that they can make a move up and then drop? Yes, they can. But right now, if you ask me, ask me what the structure is doing right now, what trade I should be looking for, I'll be looking for a buy setup. Right? It's that easy. Europa. And that's why it's wave analysis and not straight line analysis. Because it doesn't go in a straight line. That's why it's called wave analysis. So if we say up, it has to complete the pattern, the first pattern that it's making before it can continue, before it's going to go up. Now, where would that completion of that pattern be? That is with the complex part of it. That's a very difficult part. Of it. We're going up. We're consolidating to the upside. This was a nice drop. I think you all saw that. We are going up here now. The, the good question is whether they, how high this is going to go before they go down back, because I still think they're going to go back down. We did tag the low. But I don't think, I think this thing is making a very, very complicated uh, corrective structure. So I don't see this as the final impulse to the downside. I still think there is more to come. So let's go to the four hour. If you get sell setups here, take the trade. If they make a sell setup here, take the trade. For a buy setup, you'll probably have to wait much longer, right? It looks more like you can get a sell setup here, take that off. That was a, for the buy, that wasn't for the sell, by the way. That was for this buy. And now if you get a sell setup here, you can actually take the trade. If they don't go anywhere, well, then you get a break even trade and then you look for the buy setup. You notice the buys are not going either, right? They come right back. That means they're in a corrective structure. Eurocad, downside and it's still going. So if you're selling the Eurocad, you're doing well. If you're not, wait for another correction and sell, right? Eurocad could go really big time down. I think I showed you that that, that trade could come all the way back to the bottom line. So you might want to start looking for a trade set. Now you don't have to keep it all the way to the bottom, but here's a good thing about being on the right side of the trade. I think I, I repeat this every day to my traders, so I'm going to tell, tell you it a few times. When you're in the right side of the trade, you get lucky. What that means? That means if you're in the right side of the trade and you're expecting a sudden spike, it is likely going to be in the side that you're going. It will be with you like silver, right? If you're buying silver and you get a sudden spike in silver, it's likely to the upside and that happens a few times and then you can book some profit because you actually made a lot of profit. If you see a sell setup and you get in the sell setup and it goes very slow, you might get a surprise. You could get a very sharp drop. And like if you're in these sell setup, sell setup, so you get sharp drops and then you're lucky, right? Sometimes you're only expecting it to go a little and then it just drop much more than you're expecting. Well, that's lucky because you're on the right side of the trade. You have to be on the right side of the market. If you're on the right side of the market, then the market is actually telling you where it's going. You get lucky. You get much more than you expected sometimes. So you always have to try to be on the right side. And the market is actually telling you what's, what it's doing. So you will get on the right side. Euroswiss, upside, it's probably going to continue to go more up. They'll make a deeper correction here. I, I most likely think we were expecting them to make the correction like this. But it looks like it's going to be more like that, and then they're going to go. So you may get one more here, and then you're going to get the upside. Right? So this might just turn out to be a bigger four-hour correction. 
not a one hour correction anymore. It's going to be a bigger forward correction. Retest the top, then we will start to look for the downside. So you can continue to look for buy setups. Euro yen. We tagged the top as we expected. We expected this to go tag the top, and now you can start to look for sell setups. What are the chances this is going to go down again? So you can look for sell setups. Now, if you get into a sell setup here and they drop like this and they make another one, you're still in the sell. If they drop here and they start to go back up, you'll get out of the trade. You wait for them to come back down and then you'll buy. They'll probably still be in the sideways mover. That's more of a sideways move or an ending diagonal structure. That's what we're looking for. Once it breaks that up, you have to get the hell out of it because now it's gonna come down back. So you can start to look for sell setups here, actually. Pound Swiss, it's going sideways. We were expecting this to go down, right? We were expecting it to go down, but it's going sideways, which means if it's gonna to continue to go up, that sideways movement will continue. If they break this structure, it's going to be dangerous to buy this. You could take the trade. It's probably just gonna break this stuff and come back. So if they break out here and you get a buy set up here, you can take that trade, but you have to be very careful in managing the trade because once they break the top, they might turn, right? If they make a much deeper correction, if they make a much deeper correction here, well, then we will go all up. We'll go for the buy trade on the longer term because that means that you're getting a daily correction. You're going to have a daily impulse to the upside. Most likely the structure we're looking for is a running flat, not an expanding flat, which means we are still expecting them to turn to the downside from here. Now it could be an expanding flat, which means they'll break the top and come. I don't think we're looking at this bigger picture to go up again. We've broken out of that structure, so I don't think they're gonna go up, make a new high on the daily and the weekly and the monthly as well. But let's see, let's keep an eye on it and see what it gives us. Any sell setup, take it, any buy setup, Relook at it a number of times, make sure there's a good risk to reward in it, then take it. Buy setups are short term, sell setups are long term. What, what that means long term? Put it to break even and leave it. If it comes back, take you out for break even and so be it. Because if you, if you take it out too early, it's going to really drop and then you will not be in the trade. Punkad. Finally, I closed my Punkad somewhere in here. And I closed a little too early. I was in from somewhere to the top. I think I closed it somewhere here and then it dropped. So. Well, why did I close? I was expecting it to make a deeper curve. It started to correct, but I didn't get to get back in it in time. I thought the correction would be a longer time, and I wasn't there when it made that drop, so I, no big deal. I still expect them to correct, and I still will be selling it. Right? Every time I think there's going to be a big correction, I tend to move out of the trade or move my stops or something. Right? So what I'm looking for, put a stop in it finally. So if I get a correction here, I'm looking for a drop. I hope it's a bigger correction like this. There are reasons why, you know, like I explained to my group why, where, when and why I come out of the trades and which one I will just stay with. Like silver, I don't have plans to come out of it. There are reasons for that. Right? There are reasons for trades that I keep long term and trades that I go with short term. I still think Punkat is going to go down much more. I, I just think there will be a correction first before they do that. So when they make the correction, we'll sell it again. Pong Oz, I closed the Pong Oz trade very nice. This one, I can't say I didn't close it nice. I closed it right in here before it started that up move, they drop again, but they're right back there. So if, if I was in and they made that drop, I'd probably come off now. So for me, that's good. I came off the right there. You back, you bank a lot of profit in the Pong Oz and the Pong Cats. A lot of my traders did exactly that. The Pong Oz, the Pong Swiss, the Pong Cat, they made a lot of profit on them, right? Which is normal. That's what we do. That's where you will see. If you go show you the trades, those are the trades we made money on. Pong Yen. Upside, be careful. This the, uh, Pong Yen is the only one we had upside for, right? Remember that? Of all the Pong trades last week, the only one we said the possible upside, if it goes, you go back. That's the Pong Yen. It didn't drop anywhere, and it's actually going up now. So if you get a good flag here, if you get a good correction here, buy it. You're actually making a correction here. So if you get this correction to go well, right, and it breaks, you can go for that trade because this is the only one that has upside structure, right? Could be because of the US Yen. Right? All the rest has downside structure. Whatever the reasons for that, we'll figure out. But watch this. If all the pump pairs give you a buy, go with the yen. If all of them give you a sell, take anything else but the yen. Because yen will not go down very much, the rest will drop. The rest will not go up very much, they will consolidate to the upside, but this one is going to go. We're going to do Pound New Zealand now. Pound New Zealand came down, it stopped here, and it's looking like it's going to go back up. So. Let's look at the daily structures. Is there a possibility for one more up and down this? Possible. 
we're correcting this structure, right? We're correcting that impulse. So this could go up, but I don't think the, the, you can see there's another sharp wave here. I don't think that's, I think they will consolidate here and we will drop. So wait for this consolidation here. And then you don't want to miss that trade up. You definitely don't want to miss that. So let's go to four hour and see if we have a consolidation ready. Four hour. Four hours. It was coming down nicely. Stop. Correct. That's okay. The next thing you know is they're going to correct in here. If they make a flag or a correction here, you can go for the sell. If it is going to make one more high, you get a buy setup. Take it. Break the top. Take off because we're still looking for the sell. The bigger structure is a downside for the sell. But if this gives you a buy setup, it's going to be short term to break the top. Like if you had a buy setup here and you took it, it's for breaking of the top. That's all. I think most likely it's downside. If you ask me where I think this is going to go, I think it's going down. So I'll wait for it to correct their proof to me that it's going to go down, and then I'll get the trade. Aussie yen. Aussie yen is going sideways. It means at some point they're either going to take off or they're going to drop back and then go. Right? This could either be a running flat in the making, which means they're going to take off, or this could be part of a bigger correction, come back here and then go. So which is it or an ending diagonal in the upper structure? There are a number of, of patterns which we can put this in right now. Incomplete. All of them would look similar at this stage, but all of them are incomplete. If this is a, a, some kind of a flat, then they will take off. We will wait for a correction here and you can buy it. Right? If you get a one hour flag in here or one hour correction here, you can actually buy it. If this is making some kind of an ending, ending diagonal, then it's incomplete. You'll probably have one more impulse or it's totally complete at this point. That is the end of it, and then they're going to drop. Well, they have to drop, make flag, and then you sell. So you really don't have any trades here. Now, which of those two options is going to play out is irrelevant. It doesn't matter to me. I know both options. I know how they can play, right? I know what I need to look for if I'm going to look for the buyer to sell stuff. So for me, since both of those options are open, and I don't know which one is it, I, I'm not in the guessing work. I can see that both of them look similar. This could be an ending diagonal, or it could be one of those corrective uh, extended uh, running flat pattern. That's okay. I don't care which it is. It still has to prove to me which one it is, because at the end of those structures, they will behave differently. Both of them will have different ending parts to, to show me that, okay, this is that one, and this is this one. And when I see that setup, then when I know, okay, good, you know what, guys? This is the one we're looking for. Let's go for the buy. Or this is what it's doing, let's go for the sell. As it stands right now, you don't have that, right? You ever seen an artist draw something? You can, you can watch him draw and he's, he's almost ending the, the picture and you still don't know what he's drawing. You should go and look at that, right? But as he's getting closer, closer to the end, you can definitely tell what is that, right? You, you kind of like, okay, now I see what he's drawing. Right? You wouldn't know until he's completed. But that's the whole thing. Think of this, the chart is behaving. We start to see the patterns. It's, it's, it's whatever you have now will give you a number of possibilities to develop. And the more it develops, the less the possibilities become until there is only one possibility. There's only one trade setup and one structure in it. And that's it. So if you have only one piece in a chart, if you look at the chart and there's only one move, God bless you if you can tell what is going to happen with that. You can have two moves and you still don't know what it's going to do. You can have three moves and you still don't know what it's doing. You can have four and you still don't know what it's doing. And if you ask me, how is that possible? I'll send you back to the punk cat. Go back to the punk cat and see if you can figure out it. If you figure out that, you'll probably learn wave analysis. But can you trade little bits and pieces? Could we have bought this? Yes, we could buy that. If we had a set of to buy it, we can. We bought this one. Can we sell it if we get a flag here to sell? Of course. Would it be a trade that will give you very lo a lot of money? No, maybe it's a break-even trade. Look at the cat trade that I took. That could end up being a break-even trade. That's a good sell setup. We took it. It's not going well. We're still in profit and there's still a chance to get out, but I'm waiting for certain things to tell me, oh, now you have to get out of it because by then I will definitely get out for break-even. Maybe for some profit, but not the profit that I'm looking for. But if that turns and falls, well, then that is a profit you're looking for. It's always, you see, trading is, is, is not very straightforward and simple. People want you to believe that you can, you know, it is simple, especially people selling you strategies or selling you signals or selling you some crazy stuff. They want you to believe that it's simple. I, 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 I can, if you go and you, 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 you Google, you know, 
simple ways of trading, you will find a million videos that tell you, hey, look, it's very simple. You just have to do this, do this, do this, and then you can trade, right? I will loan you five simple strategies of trading. Yes, good luck. Show me your account that you, you use those five simple strategies and they're working, right? They're not. They simply don't work because you cannot show you that. And that is where it's very, very complex, right? Is it getting simpler if you get the right knowledge? Of course. 90% losses. That normal. All, all brokers, all brokers are going to show you that you're getting 90% losses. And Saxo has 90% loss. I'm one of not the, I'm definitely not one of them, right? You can see that. I'm definitely not one of those 90% who are losing on Saxo right now, right? And that is, that is because the myth people are looking at is that, and I, I know I'm spending a lot of time talking about it today, but it's the only way to get it over to traders. Right? It's the only way that we can stop these scammers from being in the market and scamming people. You know how many people I turned on already from taking the, the, the course, this, this, this course coming up in February? At least more than six people. Because I don't think they have the capital to trade. I warn them that with the capital they have, they cannot become successful traders. And some of them do not have the experiences yet. They have less than a year experience. And I told them, you're not ready for the course. Stick around for six months. And if you still are still interested to become a trader after six months, let's talk again about it. Right? I turn up people from taking my course. How many, of, how many people out there you know do that? Go find out. How many of them will turn you down? Write them and say, hey, I have two months experience only in, in trading. And I really want to take your course. I'm not making money. And see how many of them will tell you, no, you're not ready for it. Go ask them. You will see. Go, go write them and ask them. How many of them will turn you down? Right? Not a single one of them will turn you down. And you ask how many people, there might be someone in here who wrote me and I said, no, you probably want to spend the next couple of months learning before you join. I can go show you all those, 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 those chats, but I, those are private. I shouldn't be, right? So unless the person wants to advance, say, yes, I'm one of them, right? They will not do that because those are the scammers. And that's where you learn who's scamming and who wants to help traders. They'll pay you to bring your friends. <laughs> bring your friends to the free webinar. I'm not paying you for that, but you can bring your friends to the free webinar so that he, your friend could get educated about this thing, this stuff, right? When he's educated, he'll make an educated decision. I like people to watch my webinar, but please join the live webinar. Every, every week I say to them, they don't want to join here. If we are filled here, we'll go to YouTube. Right? When this is filled up, then we go to YouTube. It's not filled up. 121 people, that's okay. That's the 121 people who really want to see what I do. You can see how I am, right? You can see I didn't show YouTube today because I didn't care if there were 10 people there who wanted to buy my, my, my course or buy my training session. Those people simply are not dedicated enough to be wave analysis traders. When they start coming here, then they're dedicated enough to do it. And someone who is trying to scam people don't do things like that, right? You want to catch every little guy who has no idea of trading and sell him some crazy stuff. A lot of those guys will come and say, hey, he's talking too much in his video, right? He's not showing you analysis. He's talking too much. That's what they'll come and say. You will see how many of them will come on this and write that. That is because I'm preventing them from scamming people. They don't like it. New Zealandian, we're going up. We're going up slowly. Remember, we told you all, watch all the end pairs, the pairs from the end that they're going to go up once we broke the slow. There's a perfect pattern here for upside. This could go a lot more, but right now it's not going very aggressive. It's going very slow. So what you will have to do is you will have to take a trade and stay with it. So let's say you get a small correction here and you get a buy setup. Take the buy setup. When it goes, put it to break even and leave it. Don't interfere with it. It might pull back and go, pull back and go, pull back and go. As long as you have the break even here, ignore all of this because eventually they will get a very sharp spike. Or they will come back, take you out of break even and then start to go back. Well, you will buy lower. What is the buy you're looking for? The short term sell here is not very valid. Right? The yen pairs are looking more upside than downside. Okay, then you see, this is what I'm saying. They can break right out of those patterns. I think I told you that last week. So now we will come back and say, okay, what is this pattern? Was this a running flat? Or is this making, now it's definitely not an ending diagonal structure. So if it is a running flat, where is the flat? What are the pattern? How complex is it? What are the complex parts of it? And could it pull back before it goes? When we do all of that analysis, then we decide where the trade should come in and where we should start looking for that trade. So I pretty much think they can do this and then go. So if you get a sell set of here, should you take the sell? Well, most likely, yes. 
if you get a bike set up here, should you take the bike? You can take it and just be very careful with it. Right? So let's go. Swiss here. Buy setup, it's still a buy setup. Wait for them to make some corrections and go. If they drop lower, look for buy setups from the low. Don't try to sell this. Definitely you want to buy this. I don't know how easy I can make this, but you definitely want to look for the buy. So let me show you very easy. See all of this? These were sells and buys and sells, but the trade you want is this trade. See that there? The trade you want is to the downside. It's just the opposite now. You can see they're repeating the same thing here. They're showing you it, right? You want to get buys. You want to get buys. You want them to come back. You want to get buys. One of them is going to do that. It's easy. How high this can go? Very much. It can go quite a lot. So let's put it in the weekly and see how high it can go. It can go as high as this. That's how high it can go. I'll leave that, I'll leave that arrow there for you. You can take a snapshot of it and come back later. Now that doesn't mean you're gonna take one trade and stay with that because they might make deeper corrections on the way up. And that means you will get out, you will wait for the deep correction and you will go with it again. But these are good opportunities because they're at the low, they're making a very nice correction for you. So the next move is definitely impulsive, right? Sometimes it goes very fast. Sometimes it goes slow. It doesn't matter. You just have to manage the trades. And that's something, you know, again, you have to be trained to do. I have very senior traders who have doubled their account and then they just get overconfidence and they go way out of line. And then they start losing and then they will come to me and say, hey, I know I have broken all the rules you taught me, but um, look, I'm in this really deep mess. Please, you got to help me. And I help them. They're human just like me, right? They will make mistakes, they will break rules. We're all human beings. We tend to test our luck to see how far we can go, right? We know the rules, but then we say, hey, why not test it? Why not give it a chance? Maybe this is the one trade that I can triple my account on in one single trade, right? This is the one, this is the one that will go. Michael, that is not my, you cannot find my details there. Anilmangal.com is not mine. It's some, that's a spam account. Michael, what is wrong with you? Like seriously, what is wrong with you? You're in the group for five years now when you keep making really desperate mistakes. The Anilmangal.com is, is, don't go there because if you go there, people will get robbed. That, that is somebody we're looking for who created that account. It's, it's actually a bogus person created at a company. He's trying to scam people there. Don't go to that account. If you go there, all you would see is my webinars. But don't write the person because if you write him, he will scam you. We, we found that account. Somebody reported that account to me. We discussed it in our group. We'll find the person. We're looking for him. We'll, we've already lodged a complaint against him. I just don't know what is Michael's problem. You're in the group of five years. You're not in the group of one year now, so you should not be making a mistake like that. Okay, don't, don't, don't use other people's name here. Please guys, just knock it off. We, we're not discussing other people. We're discussing the theory and we're discussing how this theory works. I'm just pissed off at Michael because he's my student for five years and he's not supposed to make a mistake like that. Sending people to an account where that they, can be, they, can be, they can be scammed, right? That's a scam account. That's not my account, just so that everybody knows. We're looking for that guy. We'll find him. We know where he's located. We've got a lot of information on him already. And we've already reported him. So if you go there, all you will see is my webinar. He just created in my name, look at my thing, and he's posting my webinar, but it's not me, so don't do it. Let's go, watch this here. Aussie Swiss. Upside. Wait for a correction and then upside. No, no, we'll, we'll get him in jail. I'm not kidding. The reason you, nobody should go there, but if you go there, don't write to him because if you do, you can get scammed. He's going to hack into your account and all kinds of stuff. We don't know what he's going to do. But we will get him in jail because we, we know where he is located. We've already got that. We are writing the authorities that will block the account and we're getting a lawyer to find him in this country. We know the country where his account is set up. We know a lot of stuff about him. We have people in the group who are much better at this stuff than he is. 
So we want to get him in jail so that he will be a good example for the rest. And Michael is not supposed to put it out here so that he knows about it. So I'm not supposed to be telling you that that's a scam account. Don't go there. You know, uh, come on, let's go. Sorry about that. Aussie, New Zealand. We didn't want to inform him more than we should. Right? Aussie, New Zealand. Upside. It's still upside. If you're talking about this, whether this is real, it is real. Even if you put it in a line one, you might not see this. You might not see that on the daily or the four hour, but you will see it in the five minutes. So if you put this on a line chart, right, let's see. Oops, sorry, where's the light chart? Somebody's asked to put that on a line chart. Or put it on a line chart. You don't see it here, go to the five minutes. You would definitely, the reason you wouldn't see it on the line chart, if you were using a daily line chart, because it didn't stay there for a day. Right? It stayed there a very short period of time. So once it stayed there a very short period of time, you will not see it there alone, right? So how long did it spend there? That's how long the time frame you will have to go to find. See? So if you go, let me see if I can make this smaller. How small I can make it. Where was the low? It spent, the amount of time it spent there is, is where you will have to put the line chart to see whether it went there. Because if you put a line chart and you put it in the daily, it will show you where the daily move was. It will not show you where the daily open and the daily closes, that where the dots will be. So you might not see it go down there if it goes down faster. That doesn't mean structure is not there. That still doesn't mean we're looking for a buy. You can see it, right? We're still looking for a buy in this structure. You got a low, you're going up, you got a correction, we're looking for upside. I'm in the trade from somewhere here. You can see that move up. I'll be looking to get in more trades here. Once we break this structure out, I will get into more trades. The close price zone. Yes, that is why sometimes you might not see that piece of it. You can see it. You can actually see it. If you go to one minute chart, where the next one minute candle close, where the next one minute price closes, you will see it. So if you're in a one minute chart, you will see the light. I just wouldn't be able to put a one minute chart here. I don't think we would we'll be able to go back that far if I put a one minute light chart. But you can go back. If you can go back, you will see that it went there. When did the one minute price close? You will see it there. See? So that is how you should understand line chart. It doesn't mean structurally it's not there. It just means that they're showing you the close price. What I'm saying is if the structure totally disappears when you put that, then that's a problem, see? The structure doesn't totally disappear when you put it. If you get the structure disappearing, then you do have a problem. You can see the drop on the 15, right? So you can, that is how you should look at it, right? Because remember where you're seeing that price. So let's go back to the daily and let's go back to the candlestick. So you would see it if you put a line chart. The problem is if you're, if you're, if you're trading a, a pin bar, you will not see a pin bar on a light chart. That is the whole point. Your pin bar just disappeared. So this is what you're looking for, upside. We're still looking for upside. It's a corrective. We're still in the big four hour correction. We haven't come out of the big four hour correction, but we might be coming out of this correction here. If you're not in the trade, watch for this breakout. Because if this breakout comes and break that top, we might be heading to the upside. Remember what I just said. If you're in the right side of the trade, you might get lucky. Right? You might get very lucky if you're in the right side of the trade. Right? So watch that. Aussie CAD. Aussie CAD kind of consolidating here. I think this might be turn out, to, turn out to be a bigger consolidation, but it's still upside. So this might come down a little. Remember, CAD is dropping, but there's a good chance they will still go back up. So if you get a sell set up here, be careful with it. Be very careful because we're just in a big sideways consolidation. Same with the New Zealand CAD. It's just a big sideways consolidation here. You can literally see some kind of an expanding structure. So I don't see a lot of downside here, right? It's more of an upside. Wait for the one hour. If you get a one hour flag for a sell and you take the trade, like this was a sell setup, you can see that, right? If you get a one hour flag for a sell and you take the, take the trade, you get a one hour flag here. Once they break these lows, put it to break even because it can turn and go right back up. New Zealand Swiss, we're consolidating. Let them pull back, you get a buy setup. Take that out. If you go for short-term sell setups, be very careful because this is a big consolidation that they may take off. You're looking for a buy setup. Cat Swiss, still of this, nothing there. It broke already. Copper, copper already going up. We're looking for the upside. Look, it could probably come back all the way to the top here, so you might still get a buy setup. We're looking for it to come somewhere here. 
as a big running flat and then downside. So you might still get one more buy here and then we'll start to look for the downside. Kind of like a single buy more. Natural gas. It's going down slowly. You see they're going down slowly, but be careful. Once it hits this level, be careful of any sells. If you take the sells, you have to put it to break even because we're expecting a sharp move here, even if they're gonna go down. We're expecting something like a big running flat in there. So you gotta be careful. There could be a spike up. That would be a better setup if you get a buy setup on it. Oil, more up. So I think, and we're looking for that, so you see. This might be all running flat and they're going up. That's a correction. Go back here. If they're going to go up from there, this buy setup is probably a break even trade already because that was for the first one. You're going up now. Watch it. Any pullback in a flag, take the trade. Right? Any flag correction, take the trade. Once they get to about the top here, be careful. Right? Because remember, you're in a bigger with daily correction. Right? It's a bigger daily correction here. This is making a bigger daily correction. So if you're gonna get the buy setup, you have to take it short term, short term, short term, and then they will start to come down back, right? So at some point in this impulse, it can go, this is your first A, a impulse correction to the upside, right? The, what we will call the A, right? So you gotta be careful with it. If you're gonna buy, it's still upside, but once they start going up a little more, you'll be careful there, right? If you, if you study the way I study, you will figure it out. It's not like, it's not like I wake up and figure out uh, wave analysis. I'll, if you stick around to the end, I'll explain how that came up. Stick around to the end, I'll explain to you guys how that came, how I come up to this, all these figure out all this stuff, right? So same here with the brand, right? You're making a correction, you're actually getting a little, this is just a big correction here. That might be a running flat, you're getting a correction. It takes buys, but be careful again. You're in this, you're correcting a bigger move. So this upside might be short-lived, right? S&P, well, you can buy, right? Remember we said you can buy, they'll probably come test that top and they're still going up because we're correct. We're making this move, sorry. We made that big expanding flat and they're probably gonna go up more. They'll probably test the top and probably even higher than that. So any correction, now I think there's time for a correction. It's enough time for a deeper correction and then they'll go. So it's not more of a sell setup as yet, it's still correcting. So let them make corrections, you get buy setup, take it. DAX, same thing. Upside, you're getting corrections, take the trade. Right? Take the trade, any buy setup you get. If you trade NASDAQ, same thing. You're getting another buy setup here, you can take trades. It's, they're still going. They're all, they've made a deep correction, they're all going back up. And they're going up of the name false. Nifty. Nifty is just listening to me, man. You have to be in my group to see how we did the analysis on Nifty. And it's actually going exactly. So once we saw that, we were expecting down, expecting the up. So now you see this, you've got one, two, three, one, two, three. What is the next side? Downside. We're not looking for contracting flat. So the next side is downside, right? And then up again. This thing is gonna be here for a while. This is a big correction. They'll retest the top. They'll make this big correction, go back up and then come up. The bigger side is the downside, right? But if you're in the group and you see how we do that step-by-step, step, you you'll be amazed, right? Bitcoin. Bitcoin, we were expecting this to go down one more. You're getting that one more, very likely. We're looking at a sharp impulse, sharp impulse, sharp impulse, and then look for the upside. It is still upside in the long term. Let me just show you because that has not changed. Long term upside has not changed. Right? We're just pulling back within this one. We're pulling back here. So they might make one more drop to this level, and then you could start to see that one up. So you got to be careful with sells here. You want to look for a buy setup. If you don't get a buy setup, let it go. Let it even break the low. Ignore the cells, right? Look for the upside, right? Just ignore the cells. Keep your questions to the end of the, the webinar, then we'll answer them. Look for buy setups, look for buy setups. All of them are looking for buy setups. Even if they keep going down a little more, look for the buy setups, ignore the cell setups. You may get a very small one to the downside, but the bigger trade is going to be, the surprise will be to the upside, right? So just let it go, let the downside go, let it make its low because it is at a low, and then look for the buy, right? So every buy setup you get, you should take, move the break even, and leave it. Every sell setup you get, ignore it. 
Let me repeat it. Every buy setup you get, take it, move it to break even, leave it. Every sell setup. I think if you remember, you were in, if anybody was with me here, remember when this was doing it, first we said, look for a buy setup here, look for a buy setup here. That went up, came down back, look for another buy setup, came down back, look for another buy setup. The only thing I was telling you to do there is look for a buy setup and stay with it. If you had listened to me, look what happened. Right? If you didn't listen and you try to sell every little thing you get going down because you're listening to whatever else is, is going on in your head there, you probably missed the whole up move and you probably lost some money. Right? So look for the upside. All of them look for the upside, not the downside. And another one here, look for the upside, right? Because they're all at the lows. That means you start looking for the upside. Right? I don't, I don't make, that's not how our analysis, that's not how I do analysis and chart, whether I think it's gonna go to three. That's, that's the wrong way to, I don't think where it's gonna go. I look at the chart and the chart tells me where it's going. So the chart tells me, when I look at a chart like this, it tells me look for a buy setup from anywhere. Once you get a buy setup, take it, regardless of where the price is. It is at the low in the structure. So if you get a buy setup, take it. Forget about everything else. Right? This, the price is irrelevant right now. The structure is telling you what it's going to do. Right? So work with what you have in the structure. Let's go. Okay, let me see what else I'll do. I'll, I think that's about it. So let's take some questions. Because every, everybody is asking questions. So let's see. Let's start with a guy who is saying he's asking a yes or no question. Let me see. What is the yes or no question? Simple, you ask a yes or no question. What is your yes or no question? Type your question now. Start with your question, then we'll go. If I'm going to do live trading for one more week, I don't know as yet. Maybe, maybe not. I'll let you know. If you follow me, if you follow me on Facebook, that's where the link will be. The first place I post the link is always on my Facebook page. If you like the page and you follow me there, you will, you know, set it up so that you get the, the uh, so that you get the message. You will get the message when I do. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do one week more live session because a lot of people are requesting it. Actually, a lot of people said they made money during the live session, so they would like to have it. Can you please have a check on the Hong Kong? We, if we get time, we'll go back to that. Let's see more questions. Any more questions you guys have? So let me give me a three minutes. I was, I started telling you about the, uh, the course that I finished. Somebody asked me a very good question. How did you come up with learning this wave analysis? So let me tell you where I started. I think all of you may have heard the story, right? I was screwed by a bank. The bank gave me some people, the bank recommends some people to trade for me who are actually traders. They're working with it. I'm not going to name the bank. I don't want to get into that issue. But if you heard me said it before, it's okay. If not, forget about that. They said, look, these guys are professional traders. They will trade for you and blah, blah, blah. And I give them my money, a lot of money. I mean, a really lot of money because I sold my business. And they screwed me big time. What, 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 what do you do when you, when, you, when you had your pension in your hand? You're, you're only 40. You have pension. You don't have to worry about working. And then you wake up one day and you heard that you lost everything. And you had nothing to do with it. Literally, I, had, I didn't even know what the word pick means. I did not know anything about trading. When I heard that, I was like, what? I thought you guys are going to make money for me. You're professionals. Well, after getting up of bed two days after that, about two days after I got out of bed, my sister actually forced me out of bed. I was at her place in New York. She actually forced me out of bed. Like, you got to come out. She thought I was sick. And then she said, you got to wake up and, you know, do some things. And then, you know, she didn't know immediately why I couldn't get out of bed. She thought I was sick. Right? Because I definitely looked sick. I looked very, very, very sick if you looked at me at that moment. I couldn't know. I, my thoughts were like, how the hell am I going to ever make money back in my life? How, what would I do? I have no idea what to do. Absolutely no idea what my life would become. Because everything that I earned and I thought I had my pension well set was gone. Almost everything. There was like 10% remaining in the account. And we we're talking about big digits, seven digits. We're gone. So what, what happened to me when I woke up and come out of bed? I said, you know what? I have to figure this out. I had some little savings to keep me up. But like now like I was dead, dead, dead poor. But you can imagine you had your pension and it's gone. You're 40. You didn't have to worry about work and all is gone. Now you have to go back to make money to work again. I had my own apartment and all of that. 
right? Yeah, I think I mentioned it in an example you can look at it. And then I decided, you know what? Hey, I got to figure out what happened to me. It was the only thing. I wasn't working anywhere because I just sold my business. Like a year or two ago, we were in the Caribbean enjoying life with my wife. And I decided, well, I got to figure out what happened to me. What really these guys did to me? What is Forex trading? What is all this stuff about? How come professionals can't figure out the market if they were pros? How come they messed it up so much? Right? And they actually, how they got me into it, you can watch it in Exante. I think I actually explained it there. Forget about how they got me into it. I think I was foolish enough to allow them to get me into it. And then I said, okay, let me go figure it out. And I started the quest for knowledge. I call it the quest for knowledge. I would be up any hours in the day, as long as I can stay awake and I'll be trying to figure out that. I, I maybe watch, I don't know, thousands and thousands of videos on YouTube before I choose one guy to actually, because he seems like he made sense to me at that point. When you have zero knowledge, anything makes sense to you. I paid him $5,000 to learn support and resistance. And I quickly figure out that that's BS. I need to move on. I think six months in his, in his course, I realized, oh my God, this is not working. I need to move on. I need to learn. My quest for knowledge never stopped. I keep, although I was in his group, that never stopped. I kept learning, learning. I kept testing Elliott Wave. I did everything. I tried every single thing you can find. Every single thing you can think of, I tried. I learned them. I read. I, I wasn't trading actively. I was, I was just looking for knowledge. I tried Elliott Wave TV like about two or three times. Leave it. Come back to it. It was pretty much an accident. When you get this amount of knowledge in your head and you keep looking, and if you, know, if you know me and you know how I study, you will know what I mean, right? When you learn this amount of thing and nothing is making sense to you, nothing is working, nothing is in, you filter them, you filter them. And then I had one guy join me. And then we start testing, testing. We would go to work. I would wake up six in the morning. He would wake up eight in the morning, his times and time. And then he would join me. And then we would go to work until it's late, until it's after dinner for him. And when he left, I would still continue to work. That's how many hours I would spend trying to figure out this thing. It's like I was doing a research paper going back to university. I really looked at every possible video you could have found anywhere in the internet about trading. I mean, I would do that very, very much. I really wanted to know. I mean, when people take away that amount of money from you, you want to know why and how it happened. It took me about a year and a half, I think, before I really started figuring out the market. But I, at that time, I had tried it a little bit once or twice. It didn't make sense. It was very accidental that I got into it, into figuring out the wave analysis and how it works. But once that happened, once that happened, that actually changed everything. It actually changed my life. It changed how I looked at it. And then I really started testing that stuff. Testing, testing, testing. I didn't trade a lot. I was just mostly testing, testing, testing stuff, learning. And that is why I encourage you in the first year of your, your learning, do not buy anything anywhere. I made the mistake of paying $5,000, which I shouldn't have done. I don't want you to repeat that mistake. Do not buy anything. Your first year, you don't understand anything. You don't know anything about trading. Your knowledge is so limited in the first year that you can buy any crap for anything and they will, it, will make, it looks like it's making sense to you, but it's not. You will not use anything you buy in the first year. Anything you buy in the first year, you will not use it to trade because it's just a piece of crap you're buying. And if you use it to trade, you will lose more money. That is what will happen to you. You will end up losing much more money. So what you need to do is get all the free stuff you can get and then go back to learning and learning. And when you really think that trading is your thing, go learn wave analysis. Because that is the only way that gives you the advantage in the market. People always say he's always hyping his is going. It's not my system. I'm not hyping a system. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not using wave analysis just because, of, because I, I like it. But because it's working. If you tried everything that you can find and, and there was only one working, what would you do? You use the one that's working. I was looking for a system that worked. That's how I stumbled onto it. And that's how I came to learn it so good. And that's how I came to master it. And that is how I came to put my own rules on it. Because if you follow the rules you have in the book, it's not working. It's outdated. It's not really giving you the advantage in the market. You have to relook at how you look at waves. And then it works. So it's not about, it's not my system. It's about finding the only thing that works in the market. And you can see it's working. 
I can show you that it's working. You can look at my account and you will see that it's working. This is a live account, by the way. You see live and not demo. When I logged in, that was live account. It's working. You can see it. That's the whole point. So when you want to learn something that works, find it that works. You, can you repeat what I did? Of course, anybody can do it. If you have enough time and enough passion in you to spend three years or four years learning that stuff, you will learn it. If you want to learn it faster than three or four years, you can use me to do it, which means I will compact my knowledge and pass it over to you. I will guide you and I will keep you in the room. That is why we have lifetime access. And that is why I'm not selling crap to people. And that is why even my traders in the group, I'm forcing them to learn. If they don't learn, I'll kick them out of the group. Because I don't have, I'm investing so much time in them. I do a lesson every single day of the year. I go into the trading room at least once or twice a day. You count the amount of hours I'm putting into these traders and tell me if they can pay me for it. Think of how much an hour with me should be valued. And think of if you're in my room for one year and you're getting a lesson every hour, every day, 20 days a month, five days a week, 20 days a month, multiply that by 12. I'm going to buy by 11. Even. That's how much you get. Not counting the other times that I'm in the room. Not counting the, the training. You're not counting everything. That's how much I invest into them. Why do I invest such so much into them? I don't want them to go through what I went through. I don't want them to lose their hard earnings. I don't want everybody to be lying in the bed and getting the message I got. I don't want that to happen to traders. I know what it is. I lived through that. I survived it. I don't want anybody else to live through it. That's why I'm warning you, don't buy anything if you're in the first year. Go learn, go get all the free stuff. If somebody had given me that warning, I think I'd be a happy person. <laughs> well, I'm very happy, but I would have been, I would save myself a lot of money if somebody had given me that warning. Right? If somebody had warned me then, don't give these guys your money to trade. Because they cannot trade, or they will, they, not that they cannot trade, they would actually, they're working for a bank, they will screw you. Somebody will tell me then that they will screw you, I'll say, oh, thank God you told me that. I didn't know those things. Those, so, whatever I've learned, I'm warning traders about it. That's my whole thing. How many people don't like me? There are a lot of people. I'm not here for you to like me. You don't have to like me personally. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this to warn you. You can hate me, but if you take my warning, thank you. You can don't like me, but at least heed the warning signs I'm giving you. And there are many new traders out there and there are many people praying on these new traders. I had a guy in my group. He joined me. He took the course. He's one of the very first people who took the course. He might be watching this webinar. If you hear your name, I'm just talking. If you hear your story, you don't have to think. I'm just telling the story. I'm not calling your name. He's a very aged guy. He's not very old, but he's an aged guy. He's a pension. And he had all his pension money in the hundreds of thousands. And somebody tell him to give his money to this guy to trade. But this guy is a good trader. He has just joined my group when he gave his money to that guy, all his pension money to the guy. The guy didn't even lose all the money. He lost all their money and he disappeared. The FBI eventually caught up with him. And that's how I learned the story. That is when he told me that this guy lost all his money. I said, if you'd only tell me the day before you give it to him, I would stop you from doing it. You have to talk to the investors who give me money, how much I grill them before I take their money to trade. I literally grill them to make sure this is not their last money, this is not their only savings, they don't depend on the savings to think, and tell me how much you're willing to lose before we stop trading. I literally grill them to make sure that they are very much aware that if they can lose some money, and if they lose the money, this is the amount they're willing to lose. And that, that will not affect their lifestyle. If they lose this amount, it will not affect the way they live in any means. And that is why I don't trade for people who will give me 50,000, 10,000, 20,000. I don't do it because it's still a risk. It doesn't matter how good you are with it. It's still a risk. And I don't want people putting their life savings under that. Again, I know what I went through. I don't want anybody to go through that. Right? So I hope this message is going over. I hope you guys can help share this message. Because there are a lot of new traders there who believe, they're told that, hey, look, I make rich in binary and I make rich in this and I get rich in that. And look, I'm a super trader. Let me tell you how to get rich. Nobody can tell you how to get rich. You have to learn. You have to have education to get rich. There's a reason people pay to go to Harvard and they pay very expensive to become a lawyer or a doctor. 
right? There's a reason that happens. If you want to become a trader and you think you're going to take $500 on going to the internet and start trading and become a millionaire, well, you will learn very fast that it's not possible. Thank you. Thank you, all of you, for coming. Have a good week. I hope you're successful in your trading. And I will see all of you next week. Please let people join the link. I willfully did not put them on YouTube today because I don't understand why they can't use the link to come on. Right? We'll go back to the link, but please to YouTube. But if I don't get enough people on the link next week, I'll do the same thing again. Right? So thank all of you. Take care and have a good week. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.